Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Sarmat the Bars, this is Station Years and my Europa base. So, I can't remember what I was doing last time, but I remember some issues which I need to fix in my base. Because it's time to fix them, right? So, this is the cooling for the generator room. It works, more or less. And uh, the idea is like a disactive vent sucks the air from this air it goes outside through the radiators and then it goes back around this generator we will see if it works or not i should automate it later like much much later and it is always like uh, i'm going to do it today maybe i will do it tomorrow but then i never do it right so let's go inside the greenhouse i did some small I would say testing with the greenhouse and it should work more or less but i do have some kind of a ideas ideas which i would like to implement so i will try to explain what i want to do i do have some harvies here like they are not uh, planting anything yet and i would like to have that harvest like a semi -aut automated i don't want to have a Fully automated system because it, it is always some kind of a you know, struggle to do it and i don't have 50 hours to record this episode so i think we should get started right so i will try to remove some walls because i need space and i think there is no space here or shoot yeah this is uh, done already so i can't do anything there and I'm too lazy to do some IC programming because I would like to do it not the hard way but the old way I would say with the uh, logic chips. What is this? Oh, some extra logic chips. So that logic chips go with me and I sh and I think I should have a cable somewhere here which goes away or out from the greenhouse but I need to remove some thingies here right that's the scientific term of course so let's turn on the jetpack and let's see what do we have here i know this gas sensor is connected uh, to the outside of the greenhouse maybe i should rename it so gas sensor greenhouse just in case, I want to be sure that I do have it connected because I do have some uh, more gas sensors in the base, but you know, guys. So, what is here? We do have the cables, everything is connected here, and maybe, oh shoot, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think I need to go outside and we start over there but i think i need to remove or i need to move the locker which is behind or beside the doors into the greenhouse because i will need a lot of space so i will cancel the pressurize pressurization and when i will remove this locker it will be a mayhem because the ingots will be everywhere and what about this old hmm i think i'm going to move this package machine or packing machine as well so how can i take it oh i can take it apart like this so i don't need you anymore i will craft new so bye bye <laughs> so rage rage ragent processor it goes into the recycle unit as well bye bye and what about this bench i think the bench goes too so bye bye mr benchy oh it's key tables do i need the tables let's take a look what kind of tables do we have oh shoot this is like a, a good table for 3d printing right maybe i should 3d print it maybe one day so that's nice so bye bye table or bye bye the kit so now i need to cut some cables 
so let's do the cables first everything is offline right now everything is running from out from the batteries so cables here and i need to move this puppy but where should i move it oh maybe oh microwave okay microwave you are not going to be scrapped or recycled yet you will just wait here <laughs> I'm sure that microwave is scared right now. So this is the cooling for from the greenhouse. Like this uh, is uh, transferring the heat from the greenhouse into the base. So where should I put it? I know I can move these machines maybe one day. But I think not today. So let's move the locker. Oh shoot. Mayhem. All right, I need to save the game just in case. Removing the locker in five. All right now. <laughs> what about the locker here? Like a temporary solution? I think it could work. I know it looks horrible, but just take a look on this. Not a mess. It's it's not mess yet. But I think it will become a mess very soon. So I need to move everything. So let's start with the ingots. I know this is the boring part. But I have to do it right now. So ingots. And maybe this is a very bad spot for the locker anyway. Because then I need to move it like a, another 300 times. But whatever. Oh, frames. Okay. So we have the spray cans. Breakers go there and just imagine instead of corn soup eating the spray can, right? So we do have some logic chips here, that's perfect. So what do we have? Sensors, alright. So this is the boring part, I know guys, I know. But I will try to do my best. Or at least I can promise that I will try, right? Oh, another spray spray cans, just like that. Oh, duct tape, and this is really nice. Like a, this should be three D printed as well. I think like a multicolor print. It could look really really good. So this is Invar, and what do we have here? More Invar. Oh shoot, yeah, I did a lot of Invar like a long time ago, and these are the exotic. Oh. Uh, Alloys. Cable coil, alright. So we have almost everything here. But I didn't see the APC behind the locker. So this is starting to be very interesting, right? So where do I have those logic chips? So logic chip, alright. So let's try logic reader, writer, batch writer. Slot reader. Do we have a batch slot reader? Yes, we do. Nice. So let's try it over there and let's get the wire cutters and some wires. So, just like that. Just like that. Connect this puppy maybe here. And let's try to play with it. If I'm saying right, too many times and you are an adult you can take a shot every time so it is some kind of a drunk game but you know what I mean so in what do we want to read we want to read Harvey right we don't want to read grow lights and slot export import hand hmm hand no we don't want to Quantity damage class quantity occupied occupant hash max quantity damage class no so maybe not import what about the hand occupied damage class quantity occupied no and export no so we will use another logic reader batch load reader no we want to re we want to get reader but 
batch reader because I want to read all the Harveys at once. So batch sword reader, no. Oh, Regent reader, no. I think batch reader will do. Like a, I don't know. We we will see. Like a, I I'm I never did this before, but let's see. I don't need to connect this puppy to to the grid. I need only the input slot. So let's see what we can read from Harvey's with this puppy. Logic compare, no Harvey. Variables, mode, lock, import, count, export, count, error, activate. Hmm. Nothing special, right? So I think that won't help. So how can I do it? I think I am going to do it in small scale first and if it works then I will make it for all the Harveys. So let's batch reader. Batch slot reader now we want only slot reader. So this is a slot reader just like that. And we will try to do it with one Harvey first. I'm not making any prom oh shoot another ingot but this is ingot from this pile. So let's go back into the greenhouse or hmm I'm just thinking I could have a Harvey here because I don't I have my atmosphere mixed in uh, the in the base so 79% of O2 16% of CO2 and we do have some nitrogen as well so Harvey and hydroponic tray would work even even in this room so then I don't need to go all the way like there and back. So how could I do it? Hmm, I need some ideas guys. But this is on a stream, so nobody can help me. I need to do it on my own. So how can I do it? I could take the water canister and maybe just one. Hmm. Yeah, I think that will do. So I need a water crap. So water bottle, no. Water bottle filler, no. So, oh, that's a liquid, I think. A liquid valve. We want a liquid canister storage. Yeah, one. One will do and I think I do have the pipes somewhere. Maybe in my inventory, maybe not. And I need only just few, so I need to wait, right? So I need to place it somewhere. Can it fit? Will it fit somewhere here? I think it will, but the pipe won't go through that cable. So where can I get some water pipes? I think I do have all the water pipes or liquid pipes inside the greenhouse. So I think I need to print a little bit more. No, I don't have any liquid pipes in my inventory so let's find some pipes oh not pipes <laughs> oh, <don't. laughs> and it's not pipes it, it is uh, let's try liquid so this is the insulated and I don't want insulated I want only non insulated maybe just few of them so let's do right let's go oh this cooling works really really well i wasn't expecting the the temperature will drop so fast to five degrees or two degrees or whatever it was so one more so we have 10 pipes nice so let's go back and i will try to put that pipe around how can I do it? Can't I re... Oh, yeah. No, it, it... Oh, shoot. It won't go around APC. Mm, this is bad. I know I could do it really, really ugly, but that's not what I want. So, where can I have my Harvey? What about there? No, that's even worse. So... 
I would like to hurry on a closed loo. So, no. You know, guys, I will drop it. I will rename one Harvey. Or I could do something completely different. Like the, the atmosphere in the base and in the greenhouse is mixed anyway. So I could make a hole here and then I can run into the greenhouse and back. I think that's what I am going to do. And only 13 degrees in my base. I think I will do it in the greenhouse anyway, because ruining my base because of this uh, not very clever th way how to do it, I will do it in the greenhouse. So I will print maybe a few switches just in case. Like I'm not sure if I need the switches or switches. <laughs> But I will print some just in case, as always. And maybe that will do. So, what do we have here? We have three switches. We have one processor. We have some uh, logic circuits over there. So, let's go back inside the greenhouse and we start from there. And I think... Oh, shoot. I need to eat a soup, right? So, what about this one? So soup is gone, I need to drink a little bit of water. Just like that, and everything is fine I guess. Let's go back into the greenhouse, and what about the batteries? The batteries are fine. Do we have the fuel here? Yes we do, so if something happens the generator will run. And oh, this is interesting, like this end of the pipe is not sealed because there is a passive vent so basically that passive vent sucks the air from this battery room slowly into those radiators over there and it makes this part of the base very cold oh shoot so let's close the door the battery room will become a fridge but whatever right so like uh, the batteries will discharge a little bit faster in that cold environment but I am going inside the greenhouse and I will try to do my best. So all the items will try to attack me because of the air pressure, right? Just like that, as I said. So we are here, I think. So I need to rename one Harvey. So let's do that. So this will be Harvey X. It's like Harvey experiment. Nothing else, alright? So what do we have here? Again, we need logic chips and switches and pipes. No, 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 no. Those pipes stay here. Just in case, because then I will need to print more. So let's start experimenting. And this is, what is this? Oh shoot, I need to get the power from here. So I can't connect those. Oh shoot, this, this goes better and better, right? Logic reader? No, we want to have slot reader. And we want to read only one Harvey. So, let's do it again. Just like that. Everything is connected, I think. So, let's program this chip. So, in, it will be Harvey X. Yep, that was the Harvey X. And we want to read import variable no class quantity prefab hash now we want to read only if it is occupied or not just for now like i'm sure this is not the right variable like i'm almost sure not 100 percent sure so let's see what do we have here export occupied what so let's remove the seeds let's see what is inside Occupy. Oh, shoot. 
So export, import, what is it? Oh no, that's import. Right, I did a mistake. So this is the import. Import is for the seeds. Okay. Next hand. The Harvey doesn't have any in 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 its hand. Do we have anything in the hand? No, we don't. And export, there is nothing. Perfect. So, hmm. Occupied, occupant hash, max quantity damage. Oh, we can read the amount of the seeds, right? 11, perfect. But we have 8. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, that's the that's class. I'm, I'm, I'm a moron. So we want quantity. Is it occupied? Yes, it is. Prefab hash, this should be the corn seed. Quantity, we have 8. That's good. So we know we can read the import. So we can use it or we could use it in, in the future. Like uh, if the harvey doesn't have enough of seeds or non-seeds at all. Then we can do something about it. So quantity, class, damage, max quantity. And we know that the, har the harvey has corn seeds as I said. So hand... It's zero, okay. Occupant hash zero and max quantity zero. So what does it mean, hand? Let's try to plant the corn seed. Boom. Just like that. Harvey is happy. Good. Hand. Hmm. What does it do, hand? Damage class quantity. Prefab hash nothing. So why why do we need to read the hand when Harvey is using the hand only for a few seconds? Hmm. Export import. So how can I read if it is there if there is something under the Harvey? How can I read it guys? Can you tell me how can I do it? Because I can't remember. So, let's play with the Harvey a little bit more. So, slot reader, batch reader, regent, regent reader. No, let's use normal reader, logic reader, just like that. So, I need to connect it to the rest of this wrap, I would say. Just like that, T section and one straight. So now I need to program the Harvey. So let's oh not with the not with the wire cutters. I need a screwdriver. Load reader, no. Pressure regulator, logic writer, no, we need a Harvey X. Just like that. I need we need some variable. Mode. What does it do? Mode one. Lock. No, it's not locked. Import count 3. Export count 8. Error. No, we don't have any errors. And what about activate? Is it activated? No, it is not. Required power. Prefab hash. Power on mode. Okay, so logic reader won't help. So what can we do next? I'm just thinking. Alright, alright guys. I really need to apologize. I did a huge mistake. I completely forgot that those hydroponic trays have something like this. This is the hydroponic tray. And you need to scroll the mouse to change it to hydroponics device. Otherwise, you can't read the data under the, the Harvey. So basically, this is screwed. So I need to start from the scratch. Oh shoot, this is exactly what I didn't want to do, but what can I say guys? Bye bye Hopper, bye. So I need to rework everything. I'm really, really sorry about this. Oh shoot, this is bad. This is really, really bad. So basically, 
three last episodes are not very good because I wasn't expecting like a, how could I how could I forget something like this this is very important so guys one more time I'm really really sorry so I need to seal the floor with uh, steel frames like I could steal I could seal it with anything else if I want but steel frames are always good hopefully I do have some here hopefully come on I know I do have steel frames somewhere in my inventory but where whereabouts right oh shoot this is bad I need one steel frame and I'm absolutely sure when I will edit the video I will see the steel frames laying around somewhere and I need only one. Oh, here. Okay, I found it. Nice. I have a Christmas right now, so steel frames will be stored over there and now I need to weld the hole or holes. So I do have the steel sheets in my inventory. So let's try to weld it. Hopefully the pressure won't rise too much. So this will do for a while, crocodile. And now I need to take everything apart. And this makes me sad. Because I was thinking this is how to do it. No, this is not how to do it. I completely forget about those... Uh, that option, like uh, you could have a hydroponic device not just the hydroponic not just the dump hydroponic trays so hydroponic device but if i want to do it better this time i will put them somewhere here and i will rotate them just like that so this will give me a little bit more space what i can't Placement requires a support, alright. I can't place them next to each other. What does it mean? Oh, shoot. Hmm, of course I could do it maybe. What? That's not possible. Is it possible that they won't fit? But if they won't fit, that's alright-ish, I would say. Because then I can have more space and I don't need to use any excuses. So I can pack the greenhouse a little bit better. Because otherwise there is no other way how to do it. So let's connect the hydroponic trays, just like that. Like a spider, maybe. So we have hydroponic trays and of course I need wire cutters so let's do, the, do it with the wire cutters and guys this episode will be very very long so it won't be 30 minutes like always but I think it will be much much longer. So let's prepare the wires for next I would say stage. Alright so now I need to cut all the wires oh shoot let's do it if i can't do it this way i will try to do it the other way <laughs> there are always a few more ways how you can do it or how you can screw it if you need so at least i will get some extra cable every everything is flashing in the greenhouse like crazy so 45 6 7 7 8 9 and we have 50 cables, nice. So what's next? So move the cables, not there, over there. And now I need to move the harvest or remove the harvest and then move them. And how many harvests can I fit in my hand? 10, hopefully. Yep, 10, perfect. So this is the harvest, so one, two, three all right oh shoot 
now I need to leave the Harveys here and now I need to remove the grow lights which I was trying to install this way like uh, <laughs> I tried so many times and so many combinations but it won't work as I want it so how could I just forget that I need to switch the hydroponic tray into a hydroponic device I don't understand that guys I'm really really sorry so let's remove some pipes just like that I think so let's connect the pipe back and now we will connect these guys like um, as I said it's bad because this happened and it's good because this gives me a little bit more options like a not good options but I have to rework it and maybe it works so I think I can remove those hydroponics rays as well because I don't need them here anymore I'm not planting anything in them and oh shoot I completely forget that the stack for hydroponic trays is only five it could be or it should be increased to some better or larger number like five is not much maybe 10 or 20 would do or i could use some kind of a mod or i can mod it on my own to hold 20 but then when i will do it everybody will cry like why do you have 20 hydroponic trays when i can have only five so let's remove these pipes as well so this is how to do it guys like uh, if you want to record a 30 minutes long episode sometimes you need to spend 10 hours on it or may maybe sometimes more okay so we have nice greenhouse built a lot of crap in it so what about welding this floor completely just in case I think I would do it. Now the, the pressure will rise a little bit. So I will weld this one as well. Like uh, the collection of the seeds and the fruits of my work, I will do it a little bit different. Oh shoot, this is installed, so that's why I can't pick it up. I was like, uh, like uh, what? What is happening? Why I can't pick up though that hydroponic tray? So we have three harvest there, so I need to get SDB Harper. No, where are those harvests? Another hydroponic tray, five. This is three, so we have two stacks. And oh, I found harvies. All right, so I will rotate the harvey just like that. This one here, this one maybe somewhere here just like that we need cables but not yet because we can do something finally about it so just like that remove all those trays what about this one so we have the trays everything is not connected yet but we can start playing with it so we have a slot reader there that slot reader that slot reader is crying already because we can't or it can't read any values because it's I removed the Harveys so I will remove those chips as well and maybe I should remove that cable because then I will think like why do I have a cable when it goes nowhere and this is four way corner all right so i think i need to do it three way corner just like that all the issues or most of the issues were fixed so what's next and i think i can start where should i oh can i oh i can place the logic chips on the windows all right that's not bad so do i want to place it on the window it looks horrible right it looks horrible but it will do i think maybe what about here 
because if I will place it here then I need to connect this wire with the greenhouse and I think I will have some sparks or or I can put it here so let's do a batch slot reader just like that and I need just connect uh, those hydroponic devices to the grid but what is the shortest way where do I have the power oh this power goes from outside hmm okay so I think I will have the cable here because there will be more hydroponic the hydroponic trace devices so maybe this will go this is good maybe and I'm just thinking like every so I can have Harvey here there and yeah I think this will this is all right it should be right <laughs> it should be and of course why do I need to remove the the wire cutters from my hand when I need them again just like that so we need the power or the juice for the logic circuits and let's get the screwdriver and we will try to read hydroponic devices oh shoot so let's do it where oh there was the hydroponic device it has only fertilizer oh that's interesting Ferti fertilizer slo slot okay we want to read only the plant occupied or not no we want to read the growth i think hmm seeding what does it mean seeding let's try seeding first i think let's try but we should say nothing and there is average what oh okay data output do we want data output somewhere hmm i am not sure but we have a data output hydroponic device plant seeding and we want average some minimum maximum average we want average why does it flash error like uh, i just need a number i don't need to I don't need to send that number anywhere yet. What? So it needs to be just the cable on the output and it's fine? Okay. Whatever. So we have minus one. So it means probably like there is nothing. So let's get some seeds. Unfavorable, unfavorable, un <laughs> I will break my tongue. So let's plant the seeds everywhere. Just like that. We do have the sun, but the sun is not shining on the corn yet. Now it does. Plant seeding. Minus one what does it mean exactly so let's take a look on this side clear corn clear corn clear corn the sun is shining but probably not enough for this Th these three corns they are growing so maybe they are in the shade oh shoot so it means uh, the greenhouse would be much much better on the roof i guess so what is this device showing nothing nothing good right so let's see occupied land one so it means everything is occupied but we don't know if it grows or not so let's do something else and it looks like i need to put the cables back <laughs> where they were logic reader so let's uh let's get a badge 
logic reader where is the okay batch slot reader regen reader and batch reader so that's exactly how i had the cables before so let's do it again i know it looks stupid but yep this is how you build things mostly when you record the footage and it's like not you are you, you are not showing how it how it is finished but how it is done so we need another cable just here and wire cutters so this guy has output but is it flushing yes it is because we don't have it programmed yet so we want hydroponic hydroponics device we want average and what do we want Comba what combustion combustion why no we don't want combustion activate total moles temperature ratio water blah 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 no we want some pressure no batch reader what is it i don't get it all right well, let's do it the other way logic reader just one so we want hydroponics device and we want combustion what is it pressure combustion okay so now we do want show what i want like these three guys are not growing and these three guys are growing so hmm are they in the shade it looks like they are what about what about if i will connect these grow lights and i will get some artificial light maybe so we can go through this pipe maybe just like that it does not matter this is a prototype i would say so maybe this way this section here and another corner so everything is connected let's uh, turn it on and let's see what happened so i will sh oh shoot okay so i did not connect the other light power uh, port i would say just like that but i did connect everything else so at least something good right <laughs> so we have the lights working now Unfavor unfavorable lighting why we do have the grow lights here are they too far hmm I don't like it. So let's do a small test. I will disconnect these three devices just like that. And now we should have only connected the hydroponics devices which are growing those corn corns, right? So let's see what is happening here. What do we read? We have a plant slot and we have occupied good we know they are occupied because we can see the plants right <laughs> occupant hash that should be the corn max quantity matter oh that's what we want to read if they are major or not health health is fine growth so this is the stage two and i don't know if they have three stages or four stages i can't remember but this is the stage number two so let's see what Effic efficiency 88 what does it mean i i think i never saw efficiency seeding what does it mean seeding oh if they do have if we can grow if we can uh, get the seeds right so i think i will stop right here and i'll be back when these three corn plants will have seedings maybe then the number will change and if the number will change then we can do something with it 
my generator has no fuel so I need to get fuel for it very quick because that fridge room is really really fridge right now so I need to get some heat into my base otherwise those that rich temperature will get transferred into greenhouse and it will be not a disaster but heating the greenhouse it takes a little bit of time which I don't have but we can do it this way so let's see what pressure we can get instantly 1460 that's not bad so let's toss it there we have three cans with the fuel and what about these cans all right i think that's fine i should uh, get that uh, large tank as a backup fuel like somewhere outside of the of the base and it will be a little bit better because then i don't need to run with the cans all the time but here we are so i'm running into the generator room so fuel is there nice so the generator will run for a while and i will get this canister fuel canister as well so i will exchange the canisters right now so they won't have so much pressure in it and why did it stop so oh the batteries are charged already 50 only 50 percent i thought i had a little bit higher value in that program but i think this will do like we have zero degrees here so let's make it fridge again maybe i should uh, power this door finally maybe so let's do the door right now so i can remove this frame here just like that very quick and ouch why is everything trying to kill me in stationist and we will power those two doors directly from the main line main power line so let's do the data port so this will be the t section just like that this is the power port so t section here and maybe just oh shoot i could do it better i think so just like that and that so we have another t section and i will connect it directly to the main line so those door doors will be powered all the time just from the main battery like a good idea would be probably to have it on some kind of an apc if something happens but i guess there is nothing what will happen in station here right everything is safe the game is running fine so there are no bugs so why would i expect some disasters right guys i'm really really sorry about this episode i know it is extremely long and i didn't do much in it but i do want to apologize for it i did a huge mistake with the hydroponic trays because i completely forget there is a port so guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one this is the way